Hey Nailholics, welcome back to another video and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some gel polishes that I received from a brand called Your Sugar. Um, this brand did reach out to me and offered to send me some free gel polishes to review. So as usual, I'm going to be doing a swatch video and a design and I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion. Um, like I said, they reached out to me so this video is sponsored. Um, but I will always give you guys my honest opinion on the product, um, regardless if I get it for free or not. So um, starting with the first color that I picked, I wanted to try this blue. As you can see, the first coat is super pigmented. I have to say I was pleasantly surprised by that. I don't know why, but... Um, I thought that these colors would be kind of like jelly-like because I feel like whenever I deal with um, glow-in-the-dark gel polishes, they always have like that, um, like a lower opacity. But um, these colors were very bright and bold and pigmented, which I love. So this is the pink. It's so pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Barbie pink. So this next one is actually a clear no wipe top coat. It does have kind of a cloudy tint to it. Um, but I'm just gonna apply it to um, its own separate clear nail just because I know that it glows in a different color I believe it glows in green um, And I didn't want that to interfere with the blue and the pink So here are how the swatches turned out. I applied two coats of pink and blue and I applied no wipe top coat just regular no wipe top coat and then here is the um, glow-in-the-dark no wipe top coat that was just one coat and here they are in the dark um, you can see the pink blue and the clear top coat is a really nice green okay so let's get into the design I'm actually not gonna use the glow-in-the-dark um, no wipe top coat in this set just because like I said um, it has its own color that it glows in and I don't want it to interfere with the pink and the blue um, so for the pink and the blue, I'm going to apply some to my little jade plate. I'm going to um, mix the pink and blue together. Um, and then I've already got my base painted out. This is um, XOXO from Madame Glam. And I'm using um, BT Art Box Long Ballerina for my nail tips. So using this um, detail brush, I'm going to go ahead in with the design. Basically, on this nail, I'm going to do a um, French tip outline, um, and I'm going to kind of mix both the colors in together. I don't really know how to um, explain what my vision was for this. You just kind of have to watch and see. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of like blending it in and, you know, trying to, I'm just letting it do its own thing. Um, I did mess up. Um, quite a bit on this set actually um, because there was just a lot of like detailed line work and stuff like that that went into the set um, so for this French tip I actually like I started out um, dragging the pink down to the free edge but I ended up not liking the way it turned out so I wiped it off and I redid the design
so this is how the french tip nail turned out it's really pretty it's definitely um, kind of like an abstract design which is what i'm going for and then moving on to the next nail i was going to do like the whole french tip outline on all of them but honestly after doing that first one i just couldn't bother so um, i decided to do abstract lines on the entire nail and i'm overlapping the colors and just trying to you know get it to blend in a little bit um almost like an ombre type of effect um and for some reason these colors remind me of barbie and i don't know if it's because the movie just came out or like what <laughs> what it is because you know barbie is like super trending right now but when i look at this set i just think of malibu barbie So for my accent nails, I decided to give the um, hibiscus flowers a try. It's supposed to be one of the easiest like nail art flowers that you could do. So this is me. This is my very first attempt like ever and it definitely failed. You'll see that I had to kind of wipe it off and redo it a couple of times. Um, there was definitely a learning curve for me right here. And I had to stop it and go watch um, a tutorial real quick so that I could understand like what I was supposed to be doing. But I decided to leave in um, most of the footage where I was just struggling and, you know, having to wipe it off and redo it just because I wanted you guys to see the full process or at least as much of it as possible. Um, but yeah, after watching the tutorial, I realized that I needed five petals instead of the four that I had here. And I also didn't like the way the colors were blending in. That was also throwing me off. So each time that I wiped it off and redid it, you'll see where I changed up my technique and I just kept trying until I was satisfied basically. So after the hundredth time of trying to do this flower, I was finally, finally satisfied with how one of them turned out. 
it's definitely not perfect and there's definitely room for improvement but it looks way better than the very first one that i did so if you're new to nail art i hope that this um, encouraged you to keep trying um, it's not always going to turn out perfect especially if it's your first time but eventually you'll get it So after I was happy with how my flowers turned out, um, I felt like the nail was still missing something. So I decided to just add random dots and um, lines around the flowers just on the blank parts of the nail. And I feel like that really tied it together.
okay so here is the full design i think this turned out so pretty and it's still like i don't know why it's giving me malibu barbie vibes but it is so i'm gonna be using um some madam glam no wipe top coat like i said i'm not gonna use the um your sugar glow in the dark top coat because it glows green and i really want the pink and blue um to glow and i just i don't i honestly don't know um how it would look if i applied that top coat i'm gonna try that in a different video or maybe like a youtube short or something just to experiment and see if the blue and um, pink would still show up under the green i doubt it but i mean i don't know that can be like a little experiment that i do later on but yeah i'm using some regular no wipe top coat to finish off the design i'm going to cure it for 60 seconds and then i will be back so before i show you guys how my nails officially turned out i just wanted to go ahead and apply some of my cuticle oil first so this is my nail holic studio cuticle oil it is a best seller every single time i restock i always sell out and I finally have them back in stock. I've also recently decided to um, try to start a subscription box. So I'll have the link to that um, with all of the information for anyone that is interested. Um, I don't want to go too, too much into it because, um, you know, this video is not about cuticle oil. I just wanted to mention it. So here are how my nails turned out, you guys. I am so pleased with these results. Usually, you know, sometimes when I have a design in my head, I try to bring it to life. And sometimes it's a hit, but other times it's definitely a miss. But this was perfect. This turned out so nice. And here is how it looks when it glows in the dark. It was a little hard to um, capture it on camera like in person the glow is crazy but for some reason trying to get it on camera is a little difficult um but i definitely give your sugar glow in the dark gel polishes a 10 out of 10. i'll have the link to everything in the description box below for anyone that is interested and i cannot remember if i have a coupon code or not um i was supposed to have this video done a while ago and I just wasn't um, able to edit it and get it done until now. So I need to go through my email um, from months ago and try to get the code for you guys um, if I have one. So if I have a coupon code, I'll have it in the description box below. But that's it for today's video, you guys. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think about this design. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.